Uh, so question three is what kind of media institution might distribute, <coughs> distribute your media product and why? Well, our films are an independent sort of and low budget film. Yeah. So production, marketing and distribution. no budget film. Yeah. So production, marketing, distribution, we have to all handle ourselves. We can't rely on larger companies like that. We can't afford it basically. Yeah. So we should use professional low we use we use professional low budget actors, uh, a small cast, and uh, to reduce the cost of the film we went for sort of local locations for any sort of yeah. recording. Like when we did like the interesting thing we did in the school back room. Yeah. Because and we use the school software to edit it too. Yeah. And reducing uh, costs again by mm. making us pay nothing. And it allows us to put more money towards marketing and distribution of that like on that self and um, yeah, it, it lowers costs for actors as well, local locations, since they don't have to spend yeah. money to get to those places. We only took actors that would volunteer for the role and not yeah. one payment, yeah. which mainly involved the cast of people from our school. Mm. Yeah, we have created our own company in IDEM um, using, um, what was it? Well, I use after effects yeah we used after effects to make it we mostly mess around with some templates to find a style that we thought worked with what we wanted to do yeah and in the end that came across that came about really good yeah one way that we learned to distribute is via like with oh, monsters yeah. when we looked at monsters yeah they they uh, did their using a viral marketing called um, yeah they used infected zones but we don't have access to any of that but we decided to spread it on uh, social platforms such as YouTube yeah. where we could get it to a, a far wider audience than we could ever get at school so we could also get a bigger yeah. range of criticisms from people which could develop our media even mm. further and if we had to distribute it like on a larger scale we'd have to use like sort of like national British uh, companies like Vertigo yeah. since larger companies like larger US companies like Fox or 20 cent yeah all that wouldn't really do it since since it wouldn't be applicable because they'd be putting a lot of money into something that they don't know will be successful since it's quite a very low well, it's a no budget film. Uh, also, we could use telecom companies like Film 4 and ITV since they show films uh, very related to that, thriller, horror. So we'd be targeting our, our targeted demographic by yeah. putting on those telecom sites. And uh, yeah, that niche audience that they yeah. have. It's well, yeah, like you, the use of the eye don't really puts like a signature mark on our. Like if you look at Fox, they have the big Fox logo that plays every before any of their films. Mm. Same with other big brands like uh, Walt Disney, they do that too. So by having our own eye, then mm. they'll know that's from us, and we'll have our own kind of branding with that. Yeah, but a low budget eye dent is although it would be too good, it allows people to recognise work wherever it be large companies like. Yeah. Like Fox, or and it could even help with merchandise. <laughs> yeah, so that's if we ever decide. It to helps do that. to for people to recognise it. So if we even if we target out to a niche audience, it's more it's a lot becomes a loyal audience if they look at our work and all that.